Hello, artisan friends. Miss Sarah's back for another toddler book time. One of my favorite authors is Eric Carl. I love his illustrations. I love his simple stories. And there's no better story in terms of simplicity than The Little Cloud. Little Cloud is great for spring because you can go outside, especially now when we all wanna go out and at least go in our yards and look at the weather around us. Go outside and look at the clouds, see what you see. So today we're going to read Little Cloud. And you can tell me whether you see any clouds outside. The clouds drifted slowly across the sky, but Little Cloud trailed behind. There are the big clouds, and here is Little Cloud. The clouds pushed upward and away, but Little Cloud pushed downward and touched the tops of the houses and trees. Look at this. Is the Little Cloud touching the tree? Yes, look at that. The clouds moved out of sight. Little Cloud changed into a giant cloud. Wow, he's not little anymore. This is a big cloud. How big is he? Little Cloud changed into a sheep. Sheep and clouds sometimes look alike. They are both white. What sound does a sheep make? Ba, ba. Very good. Little Cloud changed into an airplane. What does an airplane do? Flies. Shoo. Little Cloud often saw airplanes flying through the clouds. That's right, when you go in an airplane, it goes so high up into the clouds. Little Cloud changed into a shark. Little Cloud once saw a shark through the waves of the ocean. Can we swim like a shark? What does a shark say? Chomp, chomp, chomp. Little Cloud changed into two trees. One, two. Little Cloud liked the way trees never moved and stayed in one place. Little Cloud changed into a rabbit. Little Cloud loved to watch rabbits dash across the meadows. Can you hop like a rabbit? Hop, 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 hop. Then Little Cloud changed into a hat. Because Little Cloud changed into a clown and needed a hat. Does the clown have a hat? Maybe I need a hat. That's better. The other clouds drifted back. They huddled close together. Little cloud, little cloud, they called. Come back. Little cloud drifted towards the other clouds. There he goes. And all the clouds changed into one big cloud and rained. Look at all that rain. The rain comes from the clouds. Can you show me rain? That is where the rain comes from. All the clouds. So the end. Do you think you would like to be a cloud in the sky? Are there any clouds outside today?
let me know. Why don't you go ask the grown-ups and find out if there are any clouds outside right now. Maybe you can find a little cloud that's turned into a sheep or a tree or a rabbit. Anyway, that's it for today. I'll post another book tomorrow. Thank you for coming to Toddler Book Time with Miss Sarah. And I hope you will have a wonderful, lovely day full of sunshine and only some clouds. Or, well, hopefully not too much snow because that can happen too. Bye, see you next time. Mwah.